Welcome to LU for You News. I'm Annabelle Barker. And I'm Alexis Lehman. I'm excited about football season. <gasps> yes, I love to watch football. It's so awesome when players score a goal. Touchdown, a touchdown. Oh, <laughs> that makes more sense. Now to Elise Looney, who will be interviewing Ethan Coons, Derek Burns, and Coach Bauer himself, who are all part of our undefeated football team. Thanks, Annabelle. I'm here with Coach Bauer and two of his football players, Ethan Coons and Derek Burns, and we're going to ask you a few questions today. So my first question is for Coach Bauer. How long have you been coaching, and how is this team different than any other team you've coached? Uh, well, this is my 25th year coaching football. I've coached as low as age five and all the way up through high school. Uh, the biggest difference between this year's team and uh, some teams in the past is just their uh, willingness to be uh, unselfish and play for each other and really work as a team. That's really the biggest thing that has us at 3-0 you know, right now on the season. Okay. My next question is for Derek. From the three games that you have already played, how do you think the rest of the season will turn out? Well, I think as long as we keep working hard in practice and don't screw off too much, we could finish the season good. My last question is for Ethan. Do you think you have a chance at winning MSLs this year? Yeah, I think we're playing good so far, and if we just keep it up, we have a really good chance at winning MSLs. Ethan. Back to you, Annabelle. Do you know what's coming up? <gasps> My birthday? Oh, your birthday's coming up? No, it's in April. Oh, I was going to say, what's coming up is... Christmas? What? That's like three months away. Oh gosh, I better start my Christmas list and my gift presents. No, Annabelle, the fair is coming up. And that, and with that, next interview is Brooke Lancet and horse racing. So Faith, do you like the fair? I love the fair. The funnel cakes, Top Gun, Dear Gravity. No, we're here with Brooke discussing her horses about 4-H. Oh, right. So, when did you start 4-H? This is my third year doing fair. Nice. So, what is your project this year at the fair? I'm showing a horse. What do you do? Get What do you do to get ready for the fair? To get ready for the fair, um, a lot of the time, a lot of the times our group, will, like our forest group, will come together and we'll all like meet at my house, and then we'll like talk about like who's showing what, what we're doing, and like how we're gonna do it, and like we'll talk about like who's gonna do what and. Like, so, yeah. Okay, now to Ethan Caper, who also does 4-H. So hey Ethan, what projects are you doing at the fair this year? Uh, this year I've taken, uh, I'm raising two boar meat goats and then I've taken a beginning fishing project. How long does it usually take to do your 4-H project? Um, with goats you get them at the beginning of July and you raise them through mid-October and then with a um, summer project then you will um, get judged in the middle of July, so you have to start any time before that. So are you ready for fair? I think so. Uh, fair starts on October 11th and goes through the 17th. So if you want to come out and check out all 4-H projects, do so. Thanks, Lindsay, for that interview. What are you doing? Oh, this book is called Star Girl. Amazing. I can't put it down. Really? What's it about? Well, let's watch the movie trailer and see. <laughs> what are you guys walking at? Um, her? Yeah, she's just different, not like any of us. I like her because she's different. She doesn't have to wear clothes and act like you guys do. Well, if you want to hang out with her, then no one will like you. Yeah, you wouldn't want to lose. Well, you wouldn't want to risk losing your popularity. Star Girl! Yes. <laughs> 